All right, what is going on, guys? Today we're back with another banger fucking story time, aka I'm out of other content to make. So here I am, or I just wanted something really fucking quick to edit. Uh, you know, one of the two. Pick your pick your choice. What which one do you think it is? Leave it down in the comments or some shit. But today we're talking about uh, you know, a pretty interesting story about this you know, crazy ass dude that I fucking used to know. And, uh, yeah, so we've done a lot of these before. I've talked about a crazy fucking dude before, uh, but that video got, like, four views or some shit. So we'll, we'll talk about a different crazy guy, see how this one does. So pretty much this takes ba- – uh, wow, I can't fucking talk. This takes place back in fifth grade, and I know you may be thinking, like, skeleton key, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Fifth grade? Like, h- how is this going to be exciting? Trust me, it gets fucking crazy, okay? So back in fifth grade, uh, you know, I was chilling. I had a really cool class, honestly. The teacher was new. She was kind of young. She didn't really give a fuck about very much. So, you know, you could get away with a lot of shit, especially if she liked you. And she really liked, like, me and a couple of my friends. Because, honestly, I'm a pretty fucking good kid in school, like, to be honest. You know, I don't really like to start shit with anybody. I don't like to be a fucking disturbance. I'm just kind of there trying to get through it and shit. Um, and, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much how I've been, like, my entire time in school. So, I was just there trying to get through it. You know, doing my fucking work, hanging out with my friends. Some, you know, sometimes we get a little loud and crazy and shit like that. But, for the most part... Uh, you know, it's just keep your head down, get through the fucking school day, get home, you know, play fucking Fortnite or some shit. No, that wasn't, that was not there when I was in fifth grade. I don't fucking know. Get home, play fucking Minecraft. Uh, (laughs) but yeah, so pretty much we're like fucking, we're all here. Right. And the teacher likes us. So it's like me and four of my friends or some shit. And there's this dude that's absolutely fucking insane in my class. And now don't get me wrong. Everybody knew that kid in elementary school that was fucking insane that probably had like ADHD out the ass and would just, you know, drive everybody like fucking mental. Um, And that was this kid. And he ended up in that class. And I had had him in like a couple other classes before. Um, you know, like I had seen him like fourth, third grade or whatever, like I had classes with him. So I'm like, okay, I kind of know what this dude is about. He was that kid that would always get sent to the Island by like the teacher's desk on his, on his own. And everybody's like kind of looking over there like, oh shit, he really got moved over there, huh? But you know, like, so it was this kind of kid. And for some reason, this teacher, I mean, God bless her. She was a great teacher, but holy shit like she literally was she walked up to me and my friends because you know we were cool with the teacher the teacher was cool with us so you know we were hanging out and she's like so i see you guys kind of hang out with you know this kid we'll we'll call him fucking john okay we see you hang out with john you know every once in a while right and me and my friends are like oh yeah like kind of whatever Because, you know, he would just kind of come over when we were having, like, free time in class or some shit, like, playing board games or whatever the fuck I did in fifth grade. And he would, like, you know, just kind of insert himself in. And we were all, like, nice enough to be, like, we weren't going to say, like, fuck off. But, you know, nobody really wanted him there, but he was just kind of there. And so I guess the teacher started taking note of this. And she was like, I think it would be really great if you guys could really help John out and you know, like, help guide him, and I'm like, what the fuck, like, you know, I agreed to it, and so did a lot of my friends, just because there's this fucking thing when you're, like, a good person, where you just do shit, and I know I'm sounding, like, really fucking egotistical right now, but it's just, you just do shit that people ask you to do, and later you get home and think, why the fuck did I agree to that, like, I'm sure some of you guys out there can relate, other people in my audience, you know, you could be a piece of shit and you've just never been in this situation, but you know, that's okay. Hey, everybody's been there too. You know, it's all right. The love goes around everywhere, but pretty much we decided like, okay, sure. You know, we'll talk to this kid. We'll play with him at fucking recess. We'll play like tag with him and shit. And, uh, you know, that that's how it'll be. So that's what happened. Uh, he was okay. Although he would just freak the fuck out. Now this dude definitely had ADHD. He was taking like medication in fifth grade. Uh, and shit like that, you know, popping Adderall before class, but, like, holy shit, dude, this guy was still fucking insane, even, like, on and off the Adderall, he was fucking crazy, 
And I know I talk a lot of shit on ADHD people, but I, I it's not really that fucking bad of a thing. Like, I probably fucking have it. I make YouTube videos, like, for fuck's sake. But, um... Pretty much, we're here, we're chilling with him, and he would, he would just have these outbursts, and everybody's like, oh shit, but one day, he just, he really took this shit to a whole nother level, okay, he was fucking, he was running around with his little fucking fifth grade legs, we're all running around, we're playing some shit, and for some reason, we pissed this dude the fuck off that day, like, I don't know what we did to him, but he was not having it. He was pissed off at us. And he was, like, mean. He was being a bitch about it. And we were like, what the fuck, dude? Like, get the fuck away from us. And, you know, he kind of did. But then after recess ends, after fucking recess ends, he got so pissed at one of my friends. And he literally were walking back to class, right? You know, you're walking out of the fucking playground or whatever. And this dude, we see him come, like, running past. And now my other friend was a little bit ahead of us, I think, like, talking to somebody else or something. And we see him running past with a fucking rock. And we're like, what the fuck? Like, it's honestly some rush shit going on right now. And we're like, what the fuck? Like, this dude just has a rock. And he's running. And my friend, like, ahead somehow, I I don't remember how the fuck... But he, like, catches the hint that this dude has a fucking rock and he's he's running up on him. Like, this dude was honestly trying to do a drive-by with a rock in the fifth grade. Like, what the fuck? And so he takes this rock and my friend, like, runs into the classroom. And now we had these big-ass metal doors in elementary school. Like, I don't know why the fuck we did, but they were, like, heavy-ass metal fucking, like, blast doors. Like, you could blow that shit up and it would probably still be there. And he fucking takes this rock and like, luckily my friend makes it into the classroom, but he takes this fucking rock and just launches it at the fucking door. And you just hear the loudest bang. And it was like, oh my God. And we fucking walk up and we're like, what the fuck was that about? And he was like, he was like, oh, I'm pissed off at him. He fucking pissed me off. And we're like, what the fuck? And literally, you we look over at the door, and everybody at the same time just turns back around and looks at each other with, like, the, you know, your fucking eyes get big and shit. And we were just like, oh, my God. There was, like, a massive fucking dent in this door. Like, this was a good-sized rock, too. I don't even know where the fuck he got it from, but it was, like, it was a good-sized rock, and he just launched this shit at the door and there was this dent, and we're just like, oh, fuck. Like, the teacher's going to be pissed. Who is she going to be pissed at? And we were straight up, we were ready to fucking snitch on this guy. Because, honestly, like, fuck that dude. He just tried to decapitate one of our friends with a fucking rock. And uh, she walked outside. She looked at him. She looked at us. And she decided, uh, you know, it probably was him instead of us. Uh, he got suspended for a couple days after that. And, uh, yeah, that, that was, that was pretty much the end of that. I I don't really know what happened with him afterwards. I think he like apologized and calmed the fuck down, but yeah, that was some crazy shit, especially in elementary school. I was like, what the fuck? Like it was just some weird ass shit. Kids do weird fucking things. Uh, you know, I hope that dude is doing the best now though. I hope he, you know, he fucking matured at some point. And, uh, you know, I hope he figured out some shit that worked to calm the fuck down. Uh, it would be a shame to see him throwing rocks at, at people still today. Or, you know, hopefully he's not doing shit that, that's worse. You know, that, that would be really bad. But thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Uh, as always, I don't know why the fuck you watch these story times. They're just kind of weird, like parts of my life, but Hey, if you watch them and enjoy them, props to you. That's cool. Uh, you know, I fuck with you enjoying them for sure. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.